This is the Music History Today podcast for August 25th. On today's show, a classic premieres in movie theaters and a man is so hot he catches on fire. We'll explain that one. First up, though, on this date in 1939, the movie musical The Wizard of Oz was released in movie theaters. In 1941, Skinny Ennis recorded the song Don't Let Julia Fool Ya. Also in 1941, the legendary Miss Billie Holiday married trombone player Jimmy Monroe. In 1970, Elton John performed for the first time in America. Also in 1970, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer played together for the first time. In 1973, Bruce Trucks of the Allman Brothers Band was injured in an auto accident. Also in 1973, Todd Rundgren held a free concert at Woolman Skating Rink in Central Park in New York City. One song from that concert, Sons of 1984, ended up on Todd's album, Todd. In 1976, Frankie Avalon premiered his TV variety show, Easy Does It, on CBS television. In 1994, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page recorded the concert that became the album MTV Unleaded. In 1994, same day, Jimmy Buffett crashed his seaplane in Nantucket off the coast of Massachusetts. He survived. And also on that same day, Billy Joel divorced model Christy Brinkley. In 2006, Tom Hamilton of Aerosmith broke his streak of 24 straight years without missing a gig when throat cancer treatments made him miss a concert. Also in 2006, the Disney Channel musical The Cheetah Girls 2 premiered on television. In 2007, the aforementioned man, singer Arthur Brown, caught on fire while performing on stage. Due to his wearing a tin hat while standing way too close to a fire that was near the stage, which made him catch on fire, he survived. But, wow. Also in 2007, the Veronicas started selling their fashion line in Target stores in Australia. In 2009, Chris Brown, no relation to Arthur Brown, was sentenced to six months of hard labor and five months of probation for his assault on Rihanna. In 2016, Kanye started his St. Pablo World Tour, which had the floating stage on it. And in 2018, Neil Young married actress Daryl Hannah and Faith Hill and Tim McGraw joined Taylor Swift on stage during Taylor's concert in Nashville, Tennessee to sing her song, Tim McGraw. In classical music in 1870, composer Richard Wagner married composer Franz Liszt's daughter, Cosima List. In theater, in 1980, the musical 42nd Street opened on Broadway, and in 2021, the musical Mamma Mia reopened in London after the COVID lockdown shut London theaters down in 2020. In award ceremonies that were held on August 25th, in 1977, singer and activist Helen Reddy was appointed to the California Parks Commission, and in 2013, Justin Timberlake's music video for his song Mirrors won Video of the Year at the MTV Video Music Awards. Albums that were released on August 25th include in 1966 when The Supremes released The Supremes A Go-Go and Marvin Gaye and Kim Weston released Take Two. In 1969, Grand Funk Railroad released On Time. In 1972, The Kinks released Everybody's in Showbiz. In 1973, The Allman Brothers Band released Brothers and Sisters. In 1975, Bruce Springsteen released his iconic album, Born to Run. In 1976, Boston released their self-titled album. In 1981, The Replacements released Sorry Ma, Forgot to Take Out the Trash. In 1982, Alice Cooper released Zipper Catches Skin, and The Time released What Time Is It? No, I'm not going to say that the way that Morris Day did. In 1984, Latin boy band Menudo with new lead singer Ricky Martin released their album Evolution. 
1986, Paul Simon released his classic album, Graceland. In 1987, the Hooters released One Way Home. In 1987, same day, the Cars released Door to Door. In 1988, Metallica released another classic, And Justice for All. In 1989, Danny O'Keefe released Redux. In 1992, Garth Brooks released Beyond the Season. The Wallflowers released their self-titled album. Lucinda Williams released Sweet Old World. And Peter, Paul, and Mary released Flowers and Stones. In 1995, the Brian Jones Massacre released Methadrone. In 1997, Ramstein released Sign Such, and Gamma Ray released Somewhere Out in Space. In 1998, Everclear released Live from Toronto. Nicole Ray released Make It Hot. Heart released their Greatest Hits album. Leonard Skinner released The Essential Leonard Skinner. And Lauren Hill released the classic Grammy Award winning album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. In 2008, The Verve released Fourth. In 2009, Cheap Trick released Sgt. Pepper Live and John Fogarty released The Blue Ridge Rangers Rides Again. Singles that were released in the UK on August 25th include in 1967 when Diana Ross and the Supremes released Reflections. In 1972, Elton John released Honky Cat and Rick Nelson and the Stone Canyon Band released Garden Party. In 1979, The Jam released When You're Young, and in 1997, Bob Dylan released Not Dark Yet. Meanwhile in America, in 1962, Booker T and the MGs released Green Onions. In 1966, The Elgins released Heaven Must Have Sent You. In 1975, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band released the title track to Born to Run, Born to Run. In 1980, The Cars released Touch and Go. In 1986, Cyndi Lauper released True Colors, and Bruce Hornsby and The Range released The Way It Is, both of those classic 80s songs. In 1987, speaking of another classic 80s song, Madonna released Causing a Commotion, and in 2013, Miley Cyrus released her song Wrecking Ball. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 25th include the iconic composer and conductor Mr. Leonard Bernstein. Also, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Gene Simmons from the group KISS. Another Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Mr. Elvis Costello of Elvis Costello and the Attractions. Also, another Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Rob Halford of Judas Priest. Yet another Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Jeff Downs of the Buggles. No, they're not in. Asia, also not in. And the group Yes, they're the ones who are in. There you go. Country music singer, Joe D. Messina, Jeff Tweedy of Wilco, and also the group Uncle Tupelo. DJ Terminator X of Public Enemy. He's in as well, actually, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Vivian Campbell of Def Leppard. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as well. In fact, this day is basically a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame day. Walter Williams of the OJs. I believe they're in. Country music artist Billy Ray Cyrus. Definitely not in. Songwriter and producer Matt Aitken of the Stock Aitken Waterman production team. Willie DeVille of Mink DeVille, singer Christian LaLama, rapper Trey Bills, singer Brianna Salas, singer Abraham Mateo, rapper Nikki Nicole, singer Donnell Mangelna, singer Anson Sebra, producer Nick Mira, singer Alexandra Burke, rapper Shabazz PBG, saxophonist Wayne Shorter of Weather Report, great, great group. 
Christopher Augustine of Every Mother's Son, Keith Tippett of King Crimson, another great group, Bob Mayo of Peter Frampton's band, Peter Frampton, by the way, going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year, John McKeough of Susie and the Banshees, Mia Zapata of The Gits, singer Jose Van Dam, bassist Michelle Donato, singer and guitarist Henry Paul of the group Blackhawk, film composer Faraborz Lachini, bassist Charles Fambro, guitarist Damian McKee of the group Rosetta Stone, vibraphonist Mike Freeman, singer Kath Carroll of the band Meow, keyboardist Candida Doyle of the group Pulp, drummer Eric Dahlgren of the Wannadies, drummer Nigel Durham of the group Saxon, singer Colleen Brown of the groups Pale Saints, Heartthrobs, and also Parachute Men. Stuart Murdoch of Bell and Sebastian, singer Spider One of Power Man 5000, singer Rafe El Roman, guitarist Luke Scott of the group Baby Bird, country music singer Bryce Long, jazz guitarist Pat Martino, violinist Walter Trampler, band leader Bob Crosby, band leader Zinn Arthur, composer Ruby Keeler, trumpet player King Garcia of the Dorsey Brothers Band, composer Stefan Wolf, and composer Robert Stoles. A lot of birthdays today. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 25th include composer Jose de Sexas, who passed away in 1742 at the age of 38. Composer Franz Novotny passed away in 1773 at the age of 29. Composer Niccolo Hiomili passed away in 1774 at the age of 59. Composer Pietro Paradisi passed away in 1791 at the age of 84. Composer Paniat Pipkoff passed away in 1942 at the age of 70. Entertainer Ted Lewis passed away in 1971 at the age of 81. Composer Juan Paz passed away in 1972 at the age of 71. Composer Robert Denzler passed away in 1972 at the age of 80. Choir conductor Franz von Amelsvoort passed away in 1975 at the age of 75. Jazz pianist and band leader Stan Kenton, legendary jazz pianist, passed away in 1979 at the age of 67. Composer Gunnar Berg passed away in 1989 at the age of 80. Singer Alma Esmeralda passed away from diabetes in 1992 at the age of 65. Singer R.B. Hudman passed away in 1995 at the age of 41. Arnie Treffers of the group Long Tall Ernie and also the Shakers passed away in 1995 at the age of 48. Doug Stegmeyer of Billy Joel's band from 1976 to 1987 committed suicide in 1995 at the age of 43. Opera singer Sylvia Fisher passed away in 1996 at the age of 86. Rob Fisher of the group Naked Eyes passed away in 1999 at the age of 42. Composer, arranger, music producer, and keyboardist for the Rolling Stones and also for Neil Young, Jack Nitsky passed away in 2000 at the age of 63. Singer and actress Aaliyah passed away in a plane crash in the Bahamas in 2001 at the age of 22. Singer and actor Philippe Leotard passed away in 2001 at the age of 61. Singer and actor William Warfield passed away in 2002 at the age of 82. Composer Joseph Tal passed away in 2008 at the age of 97. Composer Pior Nordgren passed away in 2008 at the age of 64. Composer Robert Heppner passed away in 2009 at the age of 84. The recording engineer for Miles Davis and John Coltrane, Rudy Van Gelder, passed away in 2016 at the age of 91. Opera singer Enzo Dara passed away in 2017 at the age of 78. 
Kyle Pavone of the group We Came as Romans passed away in 2018 at the age of 28. Composer Noam Sheriff passed away in 2018 at the age of 83. And jazz organist Joey DeFrancesco passed away in 2022 at the age of 51. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 26th, when in 1970, Jimi Hendrix opened Electric Lady Studios in New York City. <laughs> 